What's up, everybody? Hey, uh, it's been a while. I wanted to talk about Fear the Walking Dead, um, but make sure you're going to keep uh, keep up with all of the stuff we've been putting out from Denver Pop Culture Con. Still, a uh, brand new normal episode came out as well. Brand new normal episode is coming out uh, next week as well. Um, but we have a good amount of Denver Pop Culture Con uh, interviews coming. Uh, one from I'm saving the Supernatural one and the Umbrella Academy one for the end. Um, but they're all coming out. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying them. Fear the Walking Dead, though. Uh, last week, uh, I watched this. Yes, I watched yesterday's episode this morning. Um, last week was the introduction of Dwight to the Fear the Walking Dead timeline. We did not see him at all this week's episode. Um, this week's episode uh, pretty much was uh, Victor and Daniel focused. Um, from the beginning, uh, if you watched last week's episode, you saw Victor Strand find Daniel. They were talking about the plane uh, that they needed in order to save everybody else and kind of take them back. Um, so, uh, they, Victor waits for Daniel to leave his warehouse in order to steal the plane. Um, but of course, Daniel kind of predicts that's going to happen and he takes the instrument panel out of the plane so that Victor can't use it. So this whole episode essentially is... Victor and Daniel trying to fix their own shit. Um, I don't really think by the end of the episode that they really fix as much as they move past. Um, Daniel's holding a big grudge against Victor for taking away time that he could have had for, with Ophelia before it was too late, before she died. Um, and that's kind of what's propelling him. Daniel thinks that Victor can't change. He thinks that Victor is is always looking out for Strand and he's always going to put Strand ahead of everybody else and he's not healthy to be around. And, you know, by and large, that's been pretty accurate up until this last, maybe the end of last season coming into this season, where you've seen kind of a shift into how Victor thinks. Um, but of course, Daniel doesn't know that. He wasn't there. He's, he hasn't kind of watched that change yet. Um, the cool part in here is the little girl. I think her name is Charlotte. I can't for the life of me. I can't remember. But the little girl that they saved, um, that she's been kind of... Uh, she's, she teamed up with Victor's team, with, with Strand's team, and, and, and they're kind of trying to help people. Um, but sometimes what I what I really like this episode about this episode is that sometimes it takes a younger person to Help an older person, you know, we we sometimes get in our own way We think we know everything we think that just because you know that 15 16 year old person is 15 or 16 years old They don't know how dare they try and tell us how to live our lives or what to do, but sometimes the best advice comes from a younger person. And her talking to uh, Daniel when he finds the, her in the in the car, um, even though he's known she's there the whole time, was cool. It was it was heartfelt. It was it was her essentially convincing him to to you know let it go, let to to maybe not let it go as much as like I said earlier, move past it. Um, you know. It, he hasn't Daniel hasn't seen Strand for a while so it's essentially her convincing Daniel that people can change that people can do be different and 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 you know if not for 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 Strand he should help them for them because they have friends out there that need help and so that was really cool but also the little kid from the triad of kids um, he helps uh, you know back at uh, the home base where the other half of the crew is which you don't hear too much about you see a little bit of uh, Morgan and uh, um, You see a little bit of Morgan finding uh, the, the the rest of the little kids and still trying to figure out what the hell's going on and why they're lying to Morgan and and you know everybody else and so there's a little bit of that story story going on but the most most of this episode dealt with Daniel and Strand um, it brought one of the coolest zombie kills that I think I've seen in a while with Strand using the the airplane uh, blades uh, and and pretty much destroying his chances of getting the airplane off the ground but he turns on the airplane to attract all the zombies away from Daniel and they all just get destroyed by the blades that was pretty cool um, but at the end 
Uh, so, so Daniel, so, so Victor f saves Daniel, um, with using the help, the, the airplane, so now he can't use the airplane to go help his friends, um, so they kind of mend the fence. Again, I don't think Daniel, Daniel, uh, forgave Victor, but I think that they moved past it, um, and so they kind of are over it, but uh, here at the end, uh, Daniel leaves. He says that he's been in this warehouse by himself for a reason and now it's time to go fix that reason. Um, and so Daniel leaves at the end of the episode. Uh, Victor and the two truckers and the little girl all kind of share a meal there at the end. Um, and it looks like the camera pans to them and it looks like they're a family unit which is pretty cool. Um, and then Morgan and... Uh, Morgan and the other girl. Wow, I, for some reason I can't remember people's names today. Um, they find all the kids that have been, uh, that have stayed in this area because their parents were there. Um, and at the end of the episode, uh, they're walking to, to go find where these people are because they're looking for their friend. Uh, Morgan and Alicia, there we go. Morgan and Alicia are looking for their friend um, who got kidnapped and uh, the kids are kind of showing or pointing them the way after the kids gain a little bit of the, or after uh, Alicia and Morgan gain a little bit of the kids' trust. Um, and then a helicopter kind of appears, they all hit the floor and the helicopter goes away. Um, apparently that's a big Easter, I, did, I saw the, the little logo on the side of the thing, but I don't think it looked the same as the other logo, I could be wrong, but apparently that's pretty, pretty, it's a big Easter egg for Rick, I'll have to look into that a little bit more, but that's where the episode ends with Alicia and Morgan, with the, all of these kids watching the, air, the uh, helicopter go away, and with um, Victor and the two truckers in this other warehouse with a bunch of shit uh, having a meal. So, we still haven't found the friend, we still don't really know what's going on, we don't want, know why Strand missed the airplane to begin with at the very beginning of the season. So, we'll see what happens, um, but it was, a, it was a fun episode, we'll see what happens next episode, maybe it looks like uh, we're gonna be with, it looks like it's gonna be from the perspective of the girl who got captured. Um, so we'll, it'll be interesting. I know they've been doing this a lot since they expanded the the uh, the team. Since they expanded the cast, they've been doing you know one or two episodes that deal with this story, one or two episodes that deal with these people, and so it's not generally mixed like it used to be. Um, but then it all ties together later in the season. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe, hit the bell, uh, do everything you need to do. Hopefully you are watching Free the Walking Dead. It's been a good season so far. Um, otherwise, check us out on Facebook com slash thinking outside the long box twitter and instagram at outside long box here on youtube um everywhere else i've got a uh, something to announce a little bit later on the format of the show which may actually come out before this episode so i'm not sure um but we'll catch you guys later have a great day guys